Hello, hello, hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I decided I would reassemble my old 3D printer and see if it works or not. So here is me struggling through the cold winters of December and trying to assemble it. I, uh, we spent hours on this. And who even reads instruction? We can do it as it is. So frame is ready and now it's time to install the electronics. So this one is the display unit. There also a there is also a power unit and another unit. So uh, we installed it all, and now the display is working. Display is displaying. Extruder is extruding. Um, it seems a bit off. Let's see how it prints the test model. So the circle is fine. Uh, what? Oh no. Print aborted. But no worries, we will try again. This was the second attempt and we did some changes. But something still feels off about the bottom surface. Maybe we need to tweak the design a little more. Let's try to get it off the printer bed but i hope it what it did not work <laughs> i was sad at this moment but we don't fail here we will do more changes while decoding and make sure the bottom surface sticks properly so here i was adding one extra layer around the object uh, maybe it would help we will see how it works this is how the sliced model looks like and now we need to export the g-code file and feed it to the 3d printer so for this one the bottom surface looks okay hopefully it will print properly the bottom layer is sticking properly although this time it will be a struggle to get it off the surface of the bed we'll see so it's 100 percent complete and now let's see if it is proper or not Ooh, the cake is ready it's actually a gear i usually prefer to print gears as a test model to see how the grooves of the gear are being printed and the circles also. If I put too much pressure here, the bed will bend and it will be struggle to get it aligned again. So I uh, put all the clips off and remove the uh, surface of the bed. So here is me struggling to take off the object from the printer bed. And I almost injured myself doing this, but but I was fine, no bleeding. And there it is. The test model looks fine, all the edges and circles are fine. The object is strong. It wasn't bending easily, so uh, I had, I think I had put 15% or 20% infill. while slicing the 3d object so this is done and then i was relaxed yay i did it and this is me trying to do a thumbs up while holding the object in my hand yep later on i printed a, a cat ear for my headphone and thanks for watching